Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time coming here, my name is Word of Nala and you are definitely welcome. This is my first video um, after the holidays. I hope you guys had a great holiday and happy new year. I'm glad to share this with you. Uh, for people that actually follow me on Snapchat, I uh, put a poll where you guys decided whether you wanted to see a Q&A of me or my filming setup plus how I organize my makeup and you guys ordered and uh, makeup organization and filming setup one so I'm using my camera right now you're probably not gonna see much of me which is okay because sometimes I get tired of seeing me too you know what I mean well uh, yeah okay so let's start let's get things started I'm using my camera right now and the camera that I'm using is the Canon PowerShot G1X which I'll be putting the name down below for those that want to know and check it out let's start with my setup guys this right here is my backdrop don't mind my bed. My bed is behind, so my setup is room right in front of my bedroom. This is my backdrop that I got on Amazon. I use this, and then I hook it right here, and that's what I use to basically hold it. It has that bokeh effect. I'm actually working on getting some more um, backdrops too because I want to switch it up. You know, I don't want to have only one and stuff like that. So this is my backdrop for now, okay? Right here. This is my chair. I've had this chair forever, ever, ever, ever. And this is my sequin pillow that I generally sit on. It's comfortable, not gonna lie. This is just a basic chair. No need to discuss, you know, spend our whole life on it. All right, the interesting part. Let's start with the lights right here. So this is actually a set. It came in a set, there was two of them. It was actually a gift for my boyfriend's birthday because he is into photography. So I gave him a set, a photography set, and um, I actually ended up needed, needing this one. It's from uh, Keishio, right there. It's pretty bright, I'm not gonna complain, okay? So this is a light that I like, and it has that aluminum for reflection, so it's really good. And then my other light, <laughs> my favorite light, it's a ring light, of course, you know, if you have a YouTube channel, whatever you do, it's always great to have a ring light. Even more important, if you are a beauty guru, you need one of these. Mine is from Newer, and it's adjustable. You can bring it up, you can bring it down. It's a pretty good deal that I got, and I'm pretty happy about it, okay? So these are my two lights. I do use both of them because both of them give me a better uh, quality as far as the light I can film at night. If I only use one, I feel like I'm not getting that full effect, that full clarity. So I like to use both at the same time, okay? So right here is my TV, which has nothing to do with this. <laughs> but I just have a TV in my room and I like to watch videos sometimes. When um, <laughs> I'm doing my makeup, I would listen to music or just watch some videos sometimes and it's just right in front of me you know what i mean okay so let's talk about this table guys this table for me was a little investment okay i bought this table on um ikea and it ended up costing like 170 dollars i'll be putting the link down below for those who are interested so this table is actually you can turn it so you can decide to put this on the other side and turn it so it's you know adjustable to however your room is so that's the great thing about it okay so it's really solid my sister built it up for me cuz I suck at building anything y'all know cool all right so let's sit a little bit so I can show you guys what this is about okay all of my sets here are acrylic I don't even want y'all to see me right now. <laughs> okay, so the first acrylic set that we're gonna talk about. It's a big one. This is where I put basically my primers. All of these are my primers right here. Here I put my lip glosses. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. It's from Tarte. It's bomb, it's bling bling. You know what I mean, you know, okay. And here I just put a little bit of stuff over all lip balm. I don't think we have anything here, just like a little perfume. We have mascara right here. Here we have some blush from Wet n Wild. Uh, eye primer. I put my glitters here and my lash glue. I also put my glitter liners right here. And I have a Makeup Forever setting powder in here. Yup, that I never used. 
And here I put my setting powders that I basically don't use, okay? That's Makeup Revolution and Colourpop. And here I usually put my tweezers. I have a bunch of them, okay? So right on to the next one. Right here, this is where I put my with lipsticks, okay? And mostly matte, okay? Because here I also put my metallic ones. I forgot to mention that. But this is for my matte, my usually my matte liquid lipsticks. So I have some from um, Victoria's Secret, uh, Naked Beauty, Forever Matte, some from the Beauty Supply. But there's a whole bunch in here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Up next, we have my lipsticks, which are real lipsticks, okay? And we have some lipsticks here, some from Colourpop and the collection with Makeup Shayla. Yeah, we have some Morphe lipsticks. Here is the Beauty Supply lipsticks. We have Naked Beauty, and at the end, it's some lipsticks that you don't need to know about. Just kidding. It's basically no-name lipsticks that I love and I ordered online. All right. Here, this is just a brush cleaner. When I do um, my makeup and I want to use the same brush, I'll just spray this on, wipe it with um, some paper, and we're good. Those are my brushes. We have some brushes from all over the place. I will be lying if I tell you that I, I got all this at the same place. We have some brushes from Sigma, Morphe, Real Techniques, Amazon, uh, <laughs> all over the place, Wet and Wild, Elf, so I got a, a whole collection of brushes here, and that brush right here is a foundation brush from Colourpop. So we have a bunch of brushes. This actually is from Echo Tools at Walmart. So I usually just, if I see a brush that I like, I don't care what the name, the brand is, I'll just get it. I don't, it doesn't need to have a name. Like this brush is the Sigma brushes. There's four brushes and they were basically like $100, okay? so. I liked it, I got it, but this was like probably $7. The Real Techniques pack, these orange brushes was probably like $10 and you know, it just depends on what brushes I feel like I like. Now I have this mirror right here that I also got on Amazon. It's supposed to come with like, um, it's supposed to turn on, but I don't know what I did. Probably the battery is dead, but it doesn't turn on anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a pretty cool mirror. It has two sides right here that are mostly, I think they're zoomed in on the side. And right here, usually when you turn on the light, it's super cool and you can see everything and it's amazing. Okay, so right here. This is where I uh, put my eyeshadow palettes. I have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and I also have some in this drawer. So basically these are the ones that I use the most. We have some palettes from Anastasia Beverly Hills, Juvia's Place, Colourpop, uh, Bestie Gang Collection, Fake Up Fix, um, basically we have some palettes from all over the place and I have some stiller palettes too, so this is where I put it. So it's a really really cool thing to put your palettes in because you just drop it in there and it's super easy and it looks super great and super neat, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is the last acrylic set and actually guys, all these things, the mirror, the acrylic set, all of this, I got it from Amazon. All of it. You know, I'll be putting down some information about it for those that are interested. Okay, this is my last acrylic set, but not the least. Let's start up here. So up here we have a bunch of stuff, guys. We have some body glitter or face glitter. I have some drugstore foundation, uh, Milani, uh, Colourpop, Fit Me Maybelline, Black Opal. We have some Makeup Revolution. Um, how do you call it? Illuminator. We have NARS concealer. We have some glitter glue, some high end foundation, some Too Faced, Tarte, Fenty Beauty, Anastasia Beverly Hills. We also have some concealers from Tarte and Smashbox, Makeup Revolution. But if these are the products that I use the most up here, you know. So, and then inside we got some liners. We have some, we have NYX eyeliner. These are my tweezers that I was talking about. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here, guys. Glitter, uh, not glitter glue. Um, eyelash glue right here. Uh, MAC Prime, a primer from MAC that I love also. It's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, second row. Right here, I have this setting powder from um, Black Radiance. I don't really use it that much because I discovered something better. <laughs> butter. When I say butter, I'm talking about Too Faced powder. It's bomb. Know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> here I have my beauty blenders that are of all sizes and colors. I have um, this black one that I love. This small one that I love for my concealing my eyes. 
and it's this acrylic set is super cool because you can turn it around and you just get to where you want to be i love it it's super cool concealers i have a bunch of concealers so up there you probably saw a lot of concealers too but this is most of my la pro concealers my drugstore beauty supply concealers we have uh la pro a corrector right here we have some uh concealer from maybelline and i also have one i think this i believe this is maybelline too yup yeah okay so right here basically i have some powder contour some blush basically the products that i use the most we have some blush some powder contour um some blush from wet and wow and this is just a powder or some type of bronzer that i want sometimes i want my face to bite <laughs> you know bronzed and shit yeah okay guys these are my highlighters back here so i have some highlighters from colourpop and makeup shayla here we have some highlighters from Navi, and I believe this highlighter is um, perfection. So basically here, down here is like everything I like to use the most, and then it's classified right here. We have our beauty blenders, our blushes. Here are my setting sprays. I have some from Cover Effects, Milani, and also Found. You can find Found at Walmart. Uh, yeah, so here is just my wedges that I use every day, all day. They probably should be thrown away a bit. For some reason, I don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> okay, here are my my liners, my gel liners. I have Inglot liner right here. Then I have some brow gel, and I also have a brow pomade from Best Again Collection. Yeah, and also down here, guys, I have a NYX uh, concealer palette. Okay, so that's pretty much for this acrylic set, and it's super cool, guys. Like I just sometimes when I'm wild, well, just come here and I'll be just like turning it, turning it yeah let's look at these drawers so the first drawer is my lash collection i actually have to restock but all my lashes are from flutter lashes so yeah second one is basically some more setting powder products that i don't use every day some tape for when i want some slick eyes my stiller palette um a bunch of powder this is a palette from profusion we have some mayron paint uh, wipes to clean our makeup and also here we have some makeup from Ben Nye here is just a bunch of stuff that don't make sense we have some cotton pads a lot of samples from brands when I order um, or when I just go out to stores and check out products I get some samples like everybody else here I just keep a couple bags and I also have um, my lenses. I do wear lenses from time to time, colored light lenses, just for fashion purposes. Otherwise, I wear glasses because I have um, I have eye problems, okay? <laughs> That's it. So the last one, but not the least, I usually keep some PR boxes in here when I receive products from brands. So I just like to keep some boxes in here. If I do have the space, I do get a few products uh, from, band, from brands from time to time. Okay guys, so this was my makeup setup. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more about things that I use. Here is like my little extra things for filming. I have a microphone here that I actually never use because shit, I don't know if it works. Damn, this nail is broken, oops. Uh, yeah, I never had a good experience with this microphone, so this is why I bought this microphone from Rod that I'm gonna be trying very, very soon. It's a video mic, it's a go, so you just plug it in the camera and you go. This is what I use to carry my makeup when I travel, and it's really good. <laughs> I like it, it's like a handbag. When I usually travel, I put all my makeup that I'm using there. If I'm going for a long time, I'll take it. If not, I'll just take like a little pouch bag where I put all my makeup in. If you film and you make a lot of videos, you definitely need a disc. Mine is from WD Elements right here, and it's one terror. Oh, it's two terrors. <laughs> Look at me. It's actually two terrors, which is pretty cool. I have a bunch of SD cards that I use here to film. You need a bunch of SD cards if you film. That's so guys, this concludes my how I organize my makeup plus my filming setup video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll be back very soon. Don't worry about seeing me. I'm cool. I'm fine.
if you have any questions feel free to ask them to me down below i would love to answer them and i have no problem with that please don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next video okay i love you guys Mwah.